Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'm so excited to be sharing this amazing setup that I've done for February with you guys. My theme this month is Chinese New Year and I'm going to be incorporating several different elements throughout all of the spreads in this setup. So for the very first page, I've already glued down a full page of red paper. I love the full page of color. I think it's so striking and so clean. This year is in fact the year of the dragon, so it's kind of perfect. It's like the most, maybe one of the most symbolic or recognizable Chinese zodiac animals and it happens to be the year of the dragon this year. I'm drawing a dragon now in black on top of the white circle. I'm just going quickly here, but I will be drawing another one at the end of this video and I'll show you in more detail how I drew that. So stay tuned and make sure to watch to the end of the video if you want to see in more detail how I drew this dragon. Now I'm moving on to the cover page and I'm drawing some lanterns and fans and these lanterns, fans, and dragons are going to be the core themes and the core doodles that I'm going to repeat throughout this theme. I'm drawing these lanterns on this page, but it kind of was reminding me of my December theme where I did ornaments, and I think partly it's because it's like the red and gold color theme that I'm using. So I'm really glad I mixed in the dragons and the fans because I think it made it a little bit more unique and more fun for me to draw because I've already done the ornaments theme. So yeah, I'm choosing red, gold, and black as my color theme, and I'm glad I went with some black as well like in the dragon and on the fan. I think it makes it look more striking and like just pop a little bit more. Comment below if you are the year of the dragon. I myself am year of the ox, which I don't know, I'm not really sure the symbolism or exactly what that means. I always thought ox sounded like a little bit chunky or sturdy, <laughs> not the most elegant or beautiful animal out there perhaps but maybe like steady and reliable which i think to a degree i i think that would describe me not the chunky part the reliable part and then i'm adding this border this was something i saw on pinterest this sort of like ornate corner piece and I really had to like trim this clip. It, I, I had struggled to draw this corner thing. I had to like stop and think so many times. My brain was getting so confused by the patterns of these borders. But yeah, I'm so happy with how it looks. And I'm super, super happy with this font as well. I was trying to imitate a sort of like Chinese brush stroke calligraphy font. So this is the cover and for spread. On to the next page now, I'm going to be doing the goals and habit tracker. And on the left side, I really wanted to write Happy New Year in Chinese. Um, so if you didn't already know already, I grew up ch half Chinese. I'm half Chinese and I grew up speaking Chinese and I went to Chinese school on Saturdays. And I never appreciated it at the time, but I went to Chinese school. I had to learn how to speak at home. I had to practice writing characters on Saturday mornings and I did not appreciate it at all as a kid. But now that I'm an adult, I value it so much. The culture and the language it's really helped me a lot to be able to speak mandarin as well um so yeah i really value it so much now and i'm so glad i got those experiences when i was a kid i have to say i can't actually read or write i can only speak i happen to know how to write happy new year and i mean i just googled it to double check before i wrote it here but for all intents and purposes really i can't read or write so yeah pretty much illiterate but I really like the look of this on the left, it says 新年快乐, which literally translates to Happy New Year. Something else I saw on Pinterest that sparked my interest to add to my spread this month was this sort of like strip of lanterns that I'm going to be pasting onto the page and using that as a sort of a Dutch door kind of concept. So I just doodled a few different lanterns. I think it helps to mix and match the shapes. So I have like squares, circles, the sort of zigzag edge ones, and I'm just adding some gold accents to that. And then I'm going to be cutting that out and pasting it onto the page. 
The gold pen that I'm using is a Jelly Roll metallic pen. Everything will be linked in the description below as usual. But this is my favorite gold pen because I find that the gold is actually really metallic and the flow of the ink is also really nice out of the tip of the pen. And it's kind of hard to see in some of the lighting in this video, but sometimes if I angle it a certain way, you can see that it is in fact very metallic and it does give off a really nice shine. So I'm using a double-sided tape here and just pasting it down. And you can see that it gives kind of a cool like Dutch door effect. Onto the mood tracker page now, this is yet another idea I saw on Pinterest that I just really loved it immediately and I really wanted to recreate it in my setup. So the mood tracker is going to be this big fan and again I just love how I'm mixing the fan and lantern and dragons throughout the setup. I think if I had just picked one of those elements I would have got bored of it so I'm really glad I picked all three. So I can, I did the lanterns on the previous page and the fan this time. So I'm drawing this fan and then just dividing it into enough squares for or spaces for the whole month and then I'll be filling this in throughout the month. On to the first spread now. Sometimes I find that after I've set up the mood, habit, and goals tracker, I feel a little bit like tired and I need to take a break and then come back to the setup later. But I was kind of on a roll here and I was really enjoying myself creating this spread and this setup. And I think it's because I just really love how it's looking and I love the artwork and I do find it so much easier to do my bullet journaling and do the setups when I'm loving how it looks and when I'm when the, when the theme kind of like sparks joy for me. And that was one of my goals this year with bullet journaling. I wanted to focus more on creating artwork that really made me happy. I talked about this a bit in my January setup as well. I picked themes in January and this month as well that I really wanted to do. And I'm trying to think less about what other people would wanna see or what resonates with other people and focus more on what I like and what makes me happy and like the kind of artwork that sparks joy for me. So yeah, I was really enjoying myself and I was kind of on a roll and I did almost all of the whole setup in one go actually because I just had a lot of ideas and the, yeah, the ideas were flowing really well and I was really happy with how it's looking. So this is the very first full week of February. February is of course a short month, so that did help speed things up too. But yeah, I glued these red boxes and I kind of like it. I think it gives sort of like red envelope vibes a little bit to the spread. And then I'm just gonna doodle some lanterns all across the top to fill in the artwork for this page. One of my most beloved Chinese New Year traditions is making dumplings. This is something I've done almost every year with my family since I was a kid. We would always wrap dumplings at Chinese New Year. Typically we did the pork ones, those are traditional, but lately on my own I've just been doing the vegetarian ones. But yeah, we would make the filling, usually we would just buy the wrappers ahead of time, it's way faster. And we would wrap all the dumplings together and dumplings are just so delicious. And on Chinese New Year, it just seems okay to eat 30 dumplings in one sitting. Somehow that seems acceptable. Um, and it's just such a fun tradition. And typically I think you would put a coin in one of the dumplings and whoever got that dumpling would have good luck for the whole year. But just to not be a choking hazard with my family, we would usually put like a chocolate or a nut or something in one of the dumplings. And then whoever got that dumpling, it probably didn't taste very good, but they would theoretically have good luck for the whole year. Moving on to the next full weekly spread now. This is yet another thing I saw on Pinterest. I saw this sort of like round door shape with this frame around it and then I inserted the fan doodle inside of that. So I'm doing this layout here and just like those borders before, this confused the heck out of me. I had to like really study the images that I was looking at to figure out how on earth they did this pattern. But I started by dividing into thirds. So every third grid, I drew the line. And then you go boxes every second dot and then you fill in this last square in the remaining dots. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see an actual like slower tutorial of how I drew this pattern. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. It just takes a lot of focus. I think if you like lose focus for one moment, you end up drawing on the wrong square and then it looks weird. So 
it took some focus but it was pretty straightforward and again i'm really happy with the strong black colors i'm using like in the fan and to add some uh, the headers for the days i think it looks really cool with the red and gold so yeah i'm just filling in this spread i didn't do any fancy fonts this month which is really unlike me i love my calligraphy fonts for my setup as you guys know but I felt like with the heavy kind of and strong brush stroke font that I was doing for like the February in the corner, this like simple font for the days of the week was enough. For this spread, I kind of ran out of ideas at this point. I knew what I wanted to do on the last spread, but for this one, uh, yeah, I didn't have any ideas. So I decided I wanted to do a full red page. Um, one more kind of full red setup. So I just glued down the paper for now and I'll be setting it up later at some point this month. Um, this is something else I've been doing a bit more of this year. I used to feel kind of like some pressure for some reason to like get it all out of the way at the beginning of the month, have the whole setup filmed for you guys on YouTube. But sometimes it would feel like I would just kind of like force it or I would just repeat a spread that I didn't even like that much. So yeah, now I'm trying to focus on making sure that it sparks joy for me. So I'm going to leave it until I feel a bit more inspired later in the month. And for the very, very last spread, it's just a half week and I've made this Dutch door where I glued the red paper, as you can see. And I drew a simple lantern in that vertical space on the left. And then I'm going to be creating the days of the week boxes. February has 29 days this year. It's leap year. So I'm making sure to create, I have a to-do box and then I'm going to have five days for the last week of February. I love this gold box on the red paper. It once again gives me that kind of red envelope vibes. So I think it's like so subtly perfectly fitting my theme without being like too obvious. And for the very last notes page, I'm just writing notes here and adding a few like light colored lines here just to fill in the space. But now I'm going to be adding this dragon drawing. I did the dragon on the very first cover page and as you guys know, I like to repeat the doodle from the cover page, or not the cover page, the page like opposite the cover page, usually the quote page. I like to repeat that on the last page because I think it's a good way of tying everything together. So I'm drawing this dragon and you can see that I start by kind of mapping it out in this s shape it comes to a point at the end and then i add these scales in these sort of like squiggly shapes all down one side of the dragon and it would probably be better to rotate the journal i was just too lazy but yeah i made it all the way to the bottom and now we're going to be coloring it in in solid black but one trick that i did to make it look a little bit better was i left some white spaces because otherwise if you just color it all in black uh, it's just a solid color it doesn't look quite as nice so you can see where i'm leaving that white line between the back of the dragon and the scales on top of it i think this gives just a little bit better effect and you can appreciate the detail in the drawing a little bit more i'm adding that same red boxy pattern behind the dragon and that's pretty much it for this spread and this whole monthly setup And here is the final flip through. I have not been this happy with a monthly setup in a while, and I think it got better and better as I neared the end of the month too. I'm super excited to see what I come up with for this blank weekly spread, so stay tuned for that. I'll definitely be sharing that, and I'll see you guys next month. Bye friends!